Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on the Nice Tower channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to model this bookshelf that also we can use it as a TV. Before you start, like the video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. So let's jump in. First, use rectangle tool and draw a rectangle by 400 centimeter comma 200 like this now use our tool and let me change the number of segments after our tool by 50 and find the midpoint of this side and draw on a curve like this and here too by double click like this let me hide this bookshelf so now use offset tool and take an offset by 45 centimeter like this then use move tool take this line and move it up to here now use erase tool and delete this surface like this so again use offset tool and take an offset by three centimeter like this let me take it a thickness by one centimeter one centimeter here two like this now it has a thickness and now again use push wall tool extrude this face by 50 centimeter like this select all make it group right let me hide these additional lines how we can hide them select the object go to default tray let me pin it just check soften edge like this so now Let's create a shelf here. Take a copy by Ctrl C from this surface. Go out from the group like this. Use paste in place. Go to edit menu, click on paste in place. I made a shortcut for paste in place. SketchUp doesn't have any shortcut for paste in place as a default. You should create that. I made it before uh, by Alt plus P. So let me use shortcut Alt P like this. And now let me extrude it by 3 cm. Select all, make it component. Click on create like this. Now we need this edge we should take a copy of that as you can see they are not a single curve so let me show you a track for copy curve so first select this surface or that surface you want to uh, take a copy of the curve use move tool press ctrl take a copy of that surface like this now delete additional surface that we don't use them 
like this and just we need this curve as you can see it's not a single curve we should make it a single how we can use uh, make it select all right click weld edges plugin click on it now it's a single curve so let me cut it by ctrl x go out from this group now use again use paste in place and then move this shell here like this select both of them curve and shell and with this plugin components when with this option select the shell again now as you can see we can take copy of the shells around the curve so and i don't want to take a copy of the shelves interior of the curve just i want to take a copy exterior of the curve so what should we do press shift key again shift key press alt and shift key now take a copy by dragging you can determine the number of shell like this so i think it's enough just click here like this now delete this one select all and move them back here like this it's so easy and delete this one too because we don't need it anymore so select all make it group so as you can see our work is done let's put some material on it like this our material has problem as you can see here our material has problem let's fix that how we can fix that use Fredo tools plugin click here and find true paint click on it then just click on that surface has problem like this now it's good and also you can rotate direction of the wood like this and here to like this so guys as you can see our work is done i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials, please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.